What's up, everybody? How are you here? Checking in from Knoxville, Tennessee. We made it. We made it. The car seems like she's on her last legs. I don't know if it's just in my head, but she made it another day. Today, actually, the speedometer died. It failed. So with it fails cruise control, the trip meter, and the odometer as well. So speedometer, odometer, trip meter, and cruise control no longer work. What's funny is it will jump back to life. So basically what happens now is the speedometer needle is at zero. The trip meter doesn't increment at all, and the odometer doesn't increment at all. But it'll come back to life sometimes. Like every couple of minutes, it'll shoot back to life and start either being frantic and not the needle will just be all over the place or it'll actually lock on to my correct speed and maybe do that for a couple seconds or a couple minutes I've seen is like the record. So it's always a, a, a nice treat when that pops back because when it does, I can engage cruise control, but then it inevitably fails and the needle drops back down to zero again. So far, it, it seems to just be that. No signs of the engine or anything like that going bad with it. But the transmission, I don't know. It seems kind of hesitant downhill. So it's not its not a pleasure to drive. I feel relatively unsafe. I feel relatively unsure that she can make it another eight-hour session tomorrow. But we're going to do it. We're so close to home. I mean, this has just been a long trip. By now, each day is getting harder and harder to make it through that, that last couple hours it's just tough and i want to get out of the car and i just don't want to drive anymore but i'm going to power through and we're going to see if she makes it i mean that's all i could ever ask for if this car makes it um to get me to my parents home in maryland so we'll see she did overheat a little bit when we got into the city today the needle started going up um, and it usually never does when we're riding on the highway. It actually never does when we're riding on the highway. But I can tell if things are getting kind of hot and I feel residual heat in the car coming from the engine area or out, out of the vents or something like that. Um, I'll know that she's going to overheat as soon as we get to the city. And she did that today. So it was a long day of, of driving. It's probably the, the less, um, the least amount that I've stopped. It wasn't a straight shot that I got here. But, you know, I only stopped three times and each time was probably for an average of like six minutes. So maybe that was just a little bit too much driving. But I have to ask one more day of the Honda Accord. So hopefully she gets it done, guys. I'm pretty beat right now, as always. Just gonna, gonna crash here and then head out for the final leg tomorrow. Enjoy the footage of this crazy accident that backed up the other side of the highway for like miles and miles. And that happened again. So there was two, there were two separate accidents on I-40 westbound. And I could only imagine if they were on my side, that would have just ruined my day. I mean, that would have meant hours and hours. Um, those people were backed up for hours. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.